Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Qualcomm and I'm going to talk about the internship hiring which is now open for all the graduates, basically B.Tech engineers. So internship is quite good, 1 lakh rupees per month and more and they also provide PPO which could be 30 to 40 lakh salary. So you all know Qualcomm and if somebody does not know Qualcomm, Qualcomm is one of the top notch semiconductor company and it makes you know snapdragon so you have heard of mobile uh, processor snapdragon so that is what nasdaq 100 listed company and snp 500 co company and it's a 40 year old company started in 1985 so quite old and established and excellent revenue it's a 39 40 billion dollar company which is 2024 and it has a global employee strength of 49,000 so it's 50,000 plus company now and then coming to the uh, you know internship part of it so they offer interim engineering intern position systems 2026 so all those students who are uh, passing in 2026 batch can apply as well as all those in uh, fifth semester can also apply so basically the job description id is 3079255 and the locations are bangalore and hyderabad so two base locations are there and it is a on site internship no remote internship now talking for about the description so with they are looking for innovative engineers in the area of wireless communication and signal processing so this is basically for all the electronics and communication engineering students who have a developed a deep understanding of problems through thoughtful data driven analysis so they should be able to contribute in qualcomm system engineering activities related with 3g 4g 5g uh, the wireless LAN and then satellite communications and then they should be able to design a WN you know wireless WAN and modem based algorithms and so on so it's a, a role which is majorly for the electronics and telecommunication and electronics and communication and all the electric electronic specialization students will have this now more of a technical skill sets are also required different type of technology algorithms coding methodology coding theory and familiarity with all the protocol standards and interference and mobility management so all of these are there you can read on there your own and then a lot of mobile broadband experience you know vehicular communications and different protocols uh, and uh, you know programming side also they require programming skills in c c plus plus matlab right and familiarity with if unix windows linux computing platforms and so on so radio access code design network everything is required in this profile mm -hmm. so now if you want to uh, apply mostly for the ec students career dot call callcom.com backslash careers job and the code is here right so this if you click, click link on the this thing you will be basically able to apply with all the attaching your resume so that's all update here thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get all the internship related information for the fifth and the seventh semester students take care and bye